I remember, I was a, I was a bright little kid, probably too bright. I was a little smart ass in some way. But I learned to read before a lot of people did, partly because my sister taught me. So I, in first grade, I think it was, I was already reading, and I raised my hand and said, I want to write a play about a raccoon. And they encouraged me. They said, oh, it's a great idea. They never put this play on. <laughs> but I remember thinking about this play about a raccoon that I wanted to write. And as I went, I moved on up through the grades, and when we had these compositions, I would always raise my hand and say, instead of writing a composition, can I write a play? And I used to sort of set up stages in the cellar. I've written about this a little in the cocktail hour. I'd set up, a, I'd make my brother and sister perform in these plays on top of the ping pong table or whatever it was, and I'd make my parents see it, and then I'd design the scenery. And then later on, I, I got together with a bunch of other kids in the neighborhood, and we put on these puppet plays. I, they were, they, I was a terrible actor, still am, and they'd never let me be one of the puppets or even manipulate the puppets, but I did this, the scenery. I was in charge of the scenery, and it wasn't bad. And we'd charge, we'd put them on on Saturday mornings and the other kids in the neighborhood. It sounds very Tom Sawyer, but that's what we did. 